let's start with your second unit your second unit is about your mining frequent patterns association and correlations already we have seen what do you mean by frequent patterns your frequent patterns are what you are set of items sub sequences structure sub structures this we have seen where in the functionalities of your data mining there we have seen about your items how a frequent set of items are used what do you mean by sub sequences what do you mean by sub structures everything that is nothing but your frequent pattern frequent is nothing but what repeatedly the pattern which is repeatedly used is nothing but your frequent pattern now there are some motivations why we are using this frequent patterns finding inherent regularities in data what products were often purchased together the first question arises is what when i say frequent pattern how, how frequently i am purchasing a product or what type of product i am purchasing next what are the subsequent purchases after buying a pc see here for this i'll give you an example of a pc pc is nothing but what a computer so when i buy a computer what are the other possibilities i'll be buying i might buy a printer i might buy a scanner so these are the what sub sequent sequentially after buying a computer what are the other things i can buy next is what kind of dnas are sensitive to new drug dna is nothing but what a combination now i have a paracetamol tablet now what are the different combinations are used to form a paracetamol tablet or i have a painkiller for that painkiller what are the different dna combinations are performed so that when we take that drug it reduces our pains next can we automatically classify web documents here by using your frequent patterns can we automatically classify web yes frequently i can use a home page yes frequently i can use a login page these are all what a web documents now there are different applications used in your frequent patterns those are your market basket data analysis cross marketing catalog design sale campaign analysis web log and dna sequence and applications of your mining frequent patterns in according to your syllabus you have market basket data analysis now let's see what is your market basket data analysis and this market basket analysis or market basket data analysis generally used for the seller support like it is mainly used for the sellers i'll give you a basic example i walk into a ratnadeep market to buy milk now what are the other combinations if you all can see pre previously i spoke about a pc here now in place of pc the subsequent products of pc i told you a scanner or a printer the same way here i'm talking about what a milk milk i am going to ratnadeep supermarket to purchase milk now what are the subsequent things i can buy with the milk i can buy a bread packet or i can buy biscuits or a coffee powder tea powder whatever it is yes or no so now how is this market basket analysis is used to analysis this see which items are frequently purchased by my customer the seller or the market analyst is understanding what which type of items are purchased together by the customers now as i told you i walked into a supermarket to buy what milk but with the milk the subsequent items what all i have i have my bread i can have a butter i can have cookies or i can have tea powder coffee powder sugar everything yes or no so i might purchase all the subsequent things together now my shopping basket by might be see the customer one is buying what milk bread and cereal customer two is buying milk sugar bread and eggs customer three is buying milk bread and butter Ca next so on like that the other customer is buying only sugar and eggs now the market analyst has to understand all the shopping baskets all the customers intention when a customer is walking in in the early morning what a customers are buying when is coming in the afternoon what is buying when he comes in the evening what is he buying so he has to analyze everything and he has to arrange the products in such a way in the supermarket the strategies played by this market basket analysis is 
first thing when i walk into the shoe supermarket he can give me what both milk bread cereal everything at one stretch i can directly walk into the supermarket i can buy and i can come out of that the second strategy what he places one side he keeps all the dairy products one side he keeps all your cereals eggs breads everything the other side he keeps some other thing now when i want to buy a milk packet what do i do first i will be entering the supermarket i will be finding different uh, breads then i will move on to some chips then i'll move on to some cereals then i'll come to what the milk so what is happening my actual need is what here my actual need is only to buy milk and bread or milk by uh, butter or something like this but when i am going from starting to the ending by seeing the items there i can buy any of the other item also this is the other strategy which would be played in the supermarkets or any market this will be analyzed by your market analyst this is all about your introduction to your frequent patterns and about your market basket analysis thank you